And finally, our last step in the process is to save our toolpath. So in the toolpath operations, the first icon here is called Save Toolpaths. I'm going to click on that. And you can see we have two toolpaths listed. We have a profile toolpath, which is our rectangle. And we have the VBit carving toolpath, which is our text. But you'll also notice that the toolpaths are using both the same tool number. This, in this case, it's tool number six. And it's using the same tool description, in this case, a 90 degree VBit. I could have several toolpaths listed here if I chose. I could have um, five, six, seven, ten toolpaths. As long as the tools are the same, then the basically the machine is going to move from one toolpath to the other without any interruption. It's basically going to treat it like a single uh, operation. So in this case, we have a couple of options. First of all, we can save it in any location on our computer that we want. And to change the location, I very simply click Browse. So supposing I wanted, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Perhaps I wanted to save it to my, um, right to my flash drive. I could certainly do that. And then I'm going to change the file name. I'm just going to call this test1. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Uh, and the other option that you'll see down here is machine file format. Now, if you're using a general iCarver, the 4915X, um, then the, the option that you would choose is called general iCarver. A common mistake is that you'll see there's also another one here called General iCarver 40-915. That is not the correct one. That's for an earlier generation of this machine. And then I'm going to very simply click Save. And what that will now do, and you can see it happen very quickly, it saves that toolpath so that um, we can now uh, start machining that project.